Hello, Gemini. Robin, coming back. I have been away for a bit because I was healing from surgery. I'm still healing from surgery. But I'm here because I, I haven't been able to keep up with my mid-month. So I'm just going to pick up and carry on to the uh, through the last part of August for you, okay? Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, Geminis. You know I love you guys. You know I talk straight. Um, and you know that I've... I live in this magical realm between world between worlds, and I find it very intriguing, and I cannot leave it. <laughs> it's just how I am. So I'm going to see what the energies are for love and your life, and uh, let you know that probably going to be changing the name uh, or adding a new channel, and uh, thinking of calling it "See What I See." So. If you see that, I'll be sending you, probably be sending out uh, individual emails to you guys. Anyone who's ordered a reading from me, thank you so much. Love you, love you. I'm bringing you the best vibration I can right now. Thank you so much, Divine, for being with me today. Helping me to read for Gemini. To see what's going on in their energies. To bring about the best outcome that could possibly be for this reading. The first thing I'm bringing, my dears, is... A Sacred Geometry Activation Oracle Guide. Okay, reading. This is an energy. It's a metaphysical energy to do with your your whole psyche. Okay, and the spirit. Bringing in the spirit. Um, I also want to say, uh, this could go either way. The way this reading reads. It could be Crosswatcher, the other person. It could be you. It could be them. Um, be very careful what your decision outcome decisions are. This is a glimpse into the unseen. And so... Uh, this is what we do because we're oracles. This is what we do. So let me just do this for you. And uh, one more shuffle. This is for Gemini Spirit and Universe. Guides, show me. What is Gemini's message? That one. What is your message? Ooh. Okay, here we go. Sounds like you guys too. The, the uh, energy of dynamic frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. Mm. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new. Ooh. And to do this with ease, grace, and joy. Yes, that's nice. So whatever you're integrating into your life right now, uh, you're doing it more on a, a cosmic level because there may be even new energies here that you're not familiar with, but you're willing to accept it. That's the best part about it. All right, loves, I'm using the Gilded Reverie, the Norman again. What energies are we showing in the background for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Whoa, Robin, Robin. What are the energies, Spirit, and Universe for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is going on in the background that we cannot see? What is the energy here? Now remember, this is general, so you really may or may not want it. You know, it may not apply. If it applies, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share my videos. You're welcome to. Um, and cross-watchers are welcome because it could play out from your point of view, right? Whoa! Hey! There's an awful lot of resources for you guys. All you have to do is follow your heart. That's beautiful. Gemini. Wow, they just want to pop out like mad. Yeah, so some of you are make, taking a chance at a new relationship. You're throwing the dice. This is number 11, so 11 and 12. It could be that you have met someone just super, super fantastic, and you want to take this chance. But it's a gamble, and you're, you're let's see if you're willing to take it. Are, are they going to do it? You feel so good with this person, whoever this is. They're a friend of yours. This is someone you love very much. You may be missing them. You may have missed them terribly. This little puppy goes, please, let's go play. Let's play. Let's find out if we can play and discover a new game. That's what I got. Okay. 
Let's see what else we get for Gemini, please. What is this story? Wow. However, you may be making some changes because somebody has a bit of a temper. And if this is you, they're saying, please contain your temper. It's, it's got to be. Otherwise, um, somebody may be feeling hurt somewhere. I don't know. I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody around you that keeps coming in and making you have to lose your temper. You know, they're acting like a friend. So you may have to put to an end to somebody that's in your space that's not, not bringing you the best, okay? You know what's right for you. You are the love buzz. And you're brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. And the sneaky one that shows up, of course. This person will not seem to leave you alone. You know, the fox comes in. This is a person that comes in and starts rumors, maybe. And they say things they shouldn't, and they're gossipy, and they cause dissension in your space. Oh, Jesus. Why do people have to be like that? Well, you know what to do. You have, there are plenty of fish in the sea. You can take a chance. And try to stay friends with this person, even though they have a temper. But your patience is going to wear out. The, the, uh, the accessing of the dynamic energy is that you can choose what to do with this relationship. And it begin it, correct it, whatever. Uh, at this moment, darlings, I'm going to go ahead and pull three Romance Angel cards for you. Okay? We'll play off the Romance Angel cards, because our life is about love. Okay? Let's see what this love is. What's your message, please, to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What's your message to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Oh, sheesh. Miss Robin. Okay. I'm still not fully back. I'm trying to be back, but um, I, do. I had to get off the pain medicine because it was really not cool, all right? It was helping, but I don't like the way it makes you feel. Man. Sometimes I think that's the worst part of having some kind of a body repair thing done. Because all that dang medicine, right? Okay, what's the message for our beautiful Geminis? Love you guys, by the way. Soulmate. Engagement. And unrequited love. Oh. And I can go any way now. I don't know what way it's going to go for you. Um... Some of you have your soulmates. You have met them. Maybe by eliminating a, a, a troublemaker, you're able to recognize your soulmate better uh, and create a, a commitment with them. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. But somebody has caused you to feel left out in the cold. Like, damn, what did I do to deserve that? Not cool. Okay, so I'm going to use the Vice Versa Tarot to clarify these for you. One moment. By the way, did, darlings, I am doing readings if you're interested. If you haven't had one yet, you can go to my website and order a reading. Uh, if you've already had one, you will always get the same price once you establish a reading price with me. It'll always be the same. Unless I have a lower price that you want. I'm not kidding. Because once you become one of my, my clients, I respect you 100%. I'm there. I may not be fully, fully 100% <laughs> uh, remember everything. But that's why you're given videos for the most part. Because the videos you can watch over and over again. And they're unlisted. And they're private. And they're sacred to me. So if I do a video for you, it's yours. I'm sorry if I've ever used anybody's name. I try to do initials. So. Let's see what's going on, Gemini. What's up with this unrequited love? Let's take a look. Clarify this unrequited love for me. For the Geminis. Thank you, Spirit and Universe. So much love. Magician. Maybe it's a Pisces. Maybe it's a Virgo. Say the 10th house for you. That be Pisces. Maybe an Aries. 
unrequited love. Somebody's not giving it back, even though they could. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Yes, this is a magician. And yes, he is he's holding up the Anka piece. This is destiny. This is karmic. Somebody not returning the love. Wow. Why aren't they returning the love? They don't feel it. They don't feel your love like you do. Oh, this is not a happy thing. I'm sorry about that. Clarify that for me. I'm using the Celestial Tarot, tarot to clarify. Clarify these Ace of Cups in reverse. Who is this person? What is their energy, please, for Gemini? It's another air sign. And they're, they're just strictly all about logic. They're not even feeling it. They, they, they're just not feeling it. Why? Why is the King of Swords in reverse? King of Cups. Oh, my God. For some of you, it may be a water sign. They're not feeling it. Why? Because they have it for a fire sign. That's why. You're probably with the Aries, Leo, or a Sag, and that's their love. But they, they don't feel your love. I'm sorry. That's that's weird. For those of you who aren't in that situation of uh, unrequited love, and you do have someone who's like all up in your business because they cannot leave you alone. They're crazy ass about you. It's like, let's do everything together. Darling, let me take you out on a date. I'm going to take you to the nicest, most sacred place. I'm going to make love to you in public. That's what I got. I'm silly. <laughs> I'll make love to you in public. Soulmate, what is the energy of this soulmate, please? For Geminis. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is yours. Who is your soulmate? What is their energy? Ooh, Knight of Wands. He's in reverse. He's leaving a fire in his wake. He sparked up your phoenix. He sparked you up. Ooh, yeah, he's not, not, he's not very committed energy, this one. He's got a lot of things going on. He's in and out. He's sparked up your passion big time, though. Um, clarify that. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Um, some of you, some of you may be, your soulmate may be, is also showing up possibly as someone who's very grounded, though. Uh, you other other soulmates for some of you is um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and they move a lot slower than you, but they're very dependable. All you really want is dependable love, anyway, right? Clarify this Knight of Wands in reverse for me, please. For Gemini, please. I hope you guys are doing good. I send you so much love. I think of you all the time, especially those of you of uh, I know personally by doing readings for you. Oh my gosh, it's, it's it's just very sweet to me. Okay, I just try to be very matter of fact and get down to it, but I do feel you. All right, the devil in reverse. Oh, what? I want you to know something. If this is a soulmate. They may not be treating you very well. That could be them. Foxy Loxy. Got you in a... You, they know how to stir up your passion. And then they leave you. It's the trick of the enemy. It's the trick of the Baphomet. But you, baby, they're just breaking a chain so you can meet up with your true soulmate, which is probably... Could be very well be an earth sign. Clarify, please, this devil in Knight of, Knight of Wands. Four of Cups. Not, re not receiving your love. That person is not receiving your love. How bizarre. Why? Judgment. They can't revive you again. This one here. Whoever this is, some of you are dealing with a soulmate that's making your life a little difficult, okay? You keep offering your cup to them. You keep offering it to them. You keep offering them judgment and, and forgiveness. 
but they're not about it. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign that's not about it, okay? Sorry, that's how it is. I see a beautiful earth sign here, though. Share with me this earth sign a little more. Clarify that, please. Ooh, they make you strong. They're strong. This is a strong relationship. It's blessed. This could also be a Leo. Okay, Spirit, show me this uh, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus. What is this about, please? And yes, I am taking readings, you guys, as I said. Robin's Realm Readings at gmail.com or robinsrealmreadings.com. Wherever you want to go, I'll talk to you about it. And um, leave your comments, please. Tell me what, if any of this relates to you guys. I, I love these confirmations and synchronicities. You guys affirm that for me, that we tap into things that other people can't or you don't hear, and this is what you needed to hear. So bless you for being here. Love you so much. All your support is so appreciated. Engagement. Working hard. Yeah. Working hard, saving, making, and saving that money, dudes. So you can, this is an earth sign, again, an earth sign, so that you can bring home the bacon, babies, and make this a solid deal. You're working on it. You're working on it. That's nice. One more, please, for the engagement card. After this, my loves, I'm going to be doing Gemini and every other sign, what it looks like for you. All right. Knight of Swords, you're not ready to tell them yet. You're not ready to propose, or they're not ready to propose to you yet. They're working on it, though, but they want to. It could be you guys, because you're Gemini, and that's an air sign. Um, clarify. Nine of Cups, they make you happy. That's beautiful. All right, Gemini. Let's use the, the Master Tarot deck from Astrology Answers and see what's going on with you guys and everybody else. Rocky joke. Okay, that's enough. Gemini and Aries. What's happening? Gemini and Aries. Gemini dealing with Aries. Mm -mm. Somebody's not offering their cup or their emotion, even though they have passion for you. The Aries is... Uh, you're, you're very passionate. You're very much into your feels. Okay, you're very much in your feels, but they are not. Why? Well, because they're, they're delusional or something. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Why the moon in reverse? Seven of swords. Deceit. Need I say more? Okay. Gemini and Taurus. Not, not really concerned at the moment about what's going on with this Taurus. This is a Taurus card, too. Page of Swords is in reverse. Maybe you don't have to check on them anymore. Maybe you just ended it with one. With a, a Taurus, Gemini. Yeah, probably. Because, you know, maybe they just didn't... See, here's what I think. I think it was just a passionate tryst with a Taurus person. And it's done. All right, clarify that. That card wants to pop out. I always say if they want to, they'll come back out again. If they're meant to come out, they'll come out again. Yep. Somebody is not bringing their best, and they can't keep secrets. They're probably sharing. Oh, no, you don't. Mm, no. Okay, Gemini and Gemini. What's up? What's up? What's up? Love us? Two sets of lovers. How does that work? I've... You know, I've read for a lot of people, and I've never seen a Gemini-Gemini relationship. But I do know Geminis get along fantastically with other air signs. Sometimes. Okay. I say that sometimes. All right. Gemini and Gemini. Mmm. Trouble in paradise. Even though there's love. Even though it could be that they're hiding money from you. Uh... But the divine is here to help you get out of this rut with them. 
but there's no building. So you will you got a gift from the divine, and that's a gift of hope for yourself, your own security. Gemini and Cancer, please. Ew, what does that mean? Oh, oh, I think you all have decided to stop playing the field with the Cancer, some of you, and accept their offer of love. Hey, that's good to see. All right, that's good to see. Confirmation, right. So then we have Gemini and we have Leo. Gemini and Leo. Damn, they're a burden and a fool. Some of you are having a problem with the Leo. They're, they're foolish and they're burdensome. It's a troubling relationship and you want to start new, fresh. What's the deal with that? What is the deal with that trouble? See? They make you very unhappy, whoever this is. Okay, so now we have Gemini and we have Virgo. Virgo, High Priestess in reverse, and the Four of Cups and Four of Coins in reverse. Virgo's being super stingy down, and they're telling, they're gossiping. You know, the High Priestess, she keeps confidentialities, but I've known Virgos to, I have three Virgo sisters, and love to talk about everybody's everything. So that might get on your last nerve. Um, this is Gemini and Virgo. Why is this? Why? Why? Why is everything in reverse for Virgo? What is the, what is the core, core of this with Virgo? Prince. Oh, this is a page of pentacles. Yeah. You're like, fuck it. I'll plant in my own garden. They're off planting somewhere else. Mm-mm. Okay, let's go on. Gemini and Libra. Wow, sheesh. Let me shuffle them again. Wow, my hands. Okay, last reading of the day because Mama can't keep up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Gemini and Libra. Gemini and Libra, Gemini and Libra. Such interesting energies. Dualities. The lovers and justice. That's what that is. What is it? Oh. Hmm. A little battle torn. And maybe not feeling fully complete with this person at the moment. They're off trying to bring in the bacon is what I have. What I get. They're probably trying to make money or something. But it's like I'm not going to marry them. I've had too many fights with them. That's what I get. Clarify it for me, please. Gemini and Libra. A lot of fights. Guy's got a bandage on his head. He said, oh my God, I'm so tired of this. And they won't commit. They just won't commit, whoever this is. Uh, why? Because they're, they're uh, if there is no commitment, it's because there may be a Leo involved. That's what I have. All right, Gemini and Scorpio. Scorpio, there you go. Uh, death card is Scorpio in reverse. Scorpio is trying to decide what they want to do with this relationship. I think they love you, but they're trying to negotiate, but I think they're they're looking out for themselves right now. Clarify that. There it is, Scorpio. Death card again. Yeah, they may be leaving. Scorpios may be leaving a Gemini. Five of Swords in reverse. You're tired of trying to keep up with your, your brilliant minds. That's the problem with that. All right, let's go on. Gemini and Sagittarius. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, Gemini and Sagittarius. But maybe they're not bringing it all the way. Like, you know, they're not telling you everything. The sun isn't in full regalia. It's in reverse. Why? Why is the sun in reverse with uh, Sagittarius? You know, the horse is Sagittarius anyway, so that makes perfect sense. But this is where somebody's, you know, giving, but giving back, you know, balancing things out, but they might be giving to two people. See two people here? Two people here. Why? Princess of Cups, so they're probably giving to a water sign as well. This could be a, a young, youthful energy as well, a young water sign. All right, 
Gemini, and Capricorn, please. Uh, that's not working very good, is it? What the hell? Maybe they're demanding justice out of you. Maybe they're just making your life difficult. I don't know. Jesus, dude. Seven of Swords is like, I've worked real hard for this. You are not taking it. You will not take it from me. That's what I hear in the spirit. You will not take it from me, Capricorn. I'm not giving it to you. Even though I know you want it, it's not yours. See? Eight of Pentacles. I'm not working on this. Mm -mm. Some of you are done or they're done. All right. Gemini and, and uh, Aquarius. Oh, wow. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody's leaving because they like to be single. Clarify. Eight of Wands. They, they are having issues communicating with you, Aquarius. They're having a hell of a time understanding you. Okay, Gemini and Pisces, please. What's the energy between them right now? No. No. Whoever this applies to, and it could be any of you. Oh, my goodness, no. I'm tired of partying. I'm tired of you drinking so much. I'm tired of you stealing my hope. I am not letting you take this from me. Okay? Same damn thing. Plenty of fish in the sea. Princess of Swords. You're not even going to look back at this one, whoever you are. Nope, Ace of Wands. I'm done. Got no more energy for you. None. Seven of Cups. I'm looking elsewhere. There you go, my loves. That is your reading for now. I'll see you again on around the first. Let me know what you think. Feedback. Okay? Love you so much. Blessings. Bye.